guys, we're going to read the story that we started reading before we left school. It's the Magic Tree House number one, and it's called Dinosaurs Before Dark. In your packet this week, you should have received a Dinosaurs Before Dark packet. So we'll read one chapter at a time. When we get to the end of the chapter, just push pause. You can get out your packet. You can answer your questions, and then we'll go over the questions together when you push play again to see how we did and how well we listened to the story. So we'll read one chapter at a time. You can push pause. You can push rewind and go back and listen to the chapter again if you want to. It's totally up to you. This one is Dinosaurs Before Dark. It's by Mary Pope Osborne. There are 50-something books, Magic Treehouse books, and this is the very first one. And chapter one is called Into the Woods. It says, help, a monster, said Annie. Yeah, sure, said Jack, a real monster in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania. Run, Jack, said Annie. She ran up the road. Oh, brother, this is what he got for spending time with his seven-year-old sister. Annie loved pretend stuff, but Jack was eight and a half. He liked real things. Watch out, Jack, the monster's coming. Race you. Thanks, said Jack. Annie raced alone into the woods. Jack looked at the sky. The sun was about to set. Come on, Annie, it's time to go. But Annie had disappeared. Jack waited. No, Annie. Annie, he shouted again. Jack, Jack, come here. Jack groaned. This better be good, he said. Jack left the road and headed into the woods. The trees were lit with the golden late afternoon light. Come here, called Annie. She was standing under a tall oak tree. Look, she said, and she was pointing at a rope ladder, the longest rope ladder Jack had ever seen. Wow, he whispered. The ladder went all the way to the top of the tree. There at the top was a tree house. It was tucked between two branches. That must be the highest tree house in the world, said Annie. Who built it, asked Jack. I've never seen it before. I don't know, but I'm going up, said Annie. No, we don't know who it belongs to, said Jack. Just for a teeny minute, said Annie, and she started up the ladder. Annie, come back, she kept climbing. Jack sighed. Annie, it's almost dark. We have to go home. Annie disappeared inside the tree house. Annie? Jack waited a moment. He was about to call again when Annie poked her head out of the treehouse window. Books, she shouted. What? It's filled with books. Oh, man, Jack loved books. He pushed his glasses into place. He gripped the sides of the rope ladder, and up he went. That's it. Chapter one. So what you'll do now is you're going to get your Magic Treehouse Dinosaurs Before Dark packet. You'll get that out. Push pause on the video. Go ahead and see if you can answer the questions and when you're ready to check your questions with me, push play and we'll check them again together. Okay, hopefully you had a chance to answer the questions for chapter one. So I'm going to read the questions to you out of my packet and then we can see if your answers are what I would have written for my answers. This is chapter one. Where did Jack and Annie live? Is it A, in the town of Frog Creek, B, in a tree house, or C, in the city of Philadelphia? So if we were really listening to the story, then we would have found in the book, our text evidence says, a real monster in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania. Jack and Annie live in Frog Creek. So if you circled A in the town of Frog Creek, you would be correct. Number two, what did they find in the woods? That should be an easy one, right? It's in the title of the story. So in the woods, Jack and Annie found a tree house, right? So you should have written a tree house. And number three, why did Jack want to go home? Well, Jack wanted to go home because if we look in our book, our text evidence says, Annie, it's almost dark. 
we have to go home. So why did Jack want to go home? Because it was getting dark and it was time for them to go home. Hopefully you did okay on the questions for chapter one. Now you'll click on the next video and listen to chapter two. See you there.